Hello everyone, welcome back to Crypt of the Necrodancer. So I think I need to be more aggressive in searching for special areas inside of the walls. Because my big issue seems to be a lack of any weapon with a decent reach. Because if, if I get to later levels and I still have a dagger, or even just any sort of a short range weapon, I'm pretty much screwed. Even a broadsword is really basically just as useful as a dagger to me. So I'm going to be more aggressive in looking for special areas. Okay, let's jump back in to zone number three. Oh man, I was gonna get him. Alright, let's try it here. There we go. Oh no, that was stupid. That was really stupid. I think that's the one where you have to fight a lot of enemies. Hmm. I don't think I want to do that if I just have a dagger. Go ahead and grab everything. Okay, up and left. Come on. Ooh, hello. What the hell did that go to? When's the last time I saw a locked chest? Oh, uh, never mind. Oh, sweet, another heart container. Okay, I don't have much time left. I bought everything, what do I need to do? Look for special stuff? I need a new weapon. Oh, I'm totally fucking up everything. Oh, uh, oh, it was right there. Okay, all right, pretty good start. Let's actually see if I can get a weapon before I go fighting enemies. No, damn. Um, I still don't know what that damn rope thing does. I'm gonna grab some health. Maybe I should just grab it. No, I'm gonna save my money. Whoa, something big is coming. What is it? What is it? What is it? Okay. Come on. I got it. I got it. I got it. I have enough room. I have enough room. I have enough room. I have enough room. Yes. Whew. Okay. I got this. I'm losing time, but I'm not taking damage. Oh, 
Okay, I'm getting out of here. I love that war drum. It's so good. Oh. Okay, so he saves up his attack. Got it. Now I know. I'm really, really low. I don't even want to go there. Nope. Okay. This is not going to go well. Alright. Oh no! I went too far past it. It wasn't going to work out anyway. I mean, unless the shop had a good weapon, and pr preferably health. I mean, one heart and the starting dagger? Nope. By the way, I keep up the tradition of never, ever using the fireball spell. I'm actually wondering if there's anything the designers can do to fix that. Like, is it even something to be fixed? Is it a problem with the game? I mean, it's a game where you have to keep, you have to pay extreme attention to the beat and your movement. So to try and do that and also look around at the UI elements on the screen is very, very difficult. How can you improve that, though? I have no idea. It's just like a dragon. Where is it? I think I found it. Yep, okay. Cool. Holy shit! Yeah, okay. Cool. Cool game, thanks. Oh no, I don't wanna unleash the bats. I'm too poor. Actually, hold on, I want to try something. But first, something is coming. Hi. Wow. I might as well just restart. Maybe not. Okay, so people were telling me about the possibility of killing the shopkeeper. And uh, as much as I like his singing, I do want to know if I can blow him up. No, you can't. Okay, but apparently you can actually get the shopkeeper killed. Somehow. I'm not quite sure how. I'm, I'm assuming by dragging enemies inside of here. And apparently that actually does something. Hmm. Anyway, uh, let's grab this, and this. Oh, I should have thought I was inside of there first, but then again, I don't like the flail, so I'm just gonna go with the longsword. Okay, uh, kind of a bad start, but I have a weapon, so that's actually quite good. my health back.
And some armor. This is actually turning out pretty good. Took a little bit too long there, though. How am I still alive? Holy crap. Holy crap. How am I still alive? Wow, wow, okay. Okay, upright, I, I need to remember this. Upright to freeze. If I'm in trouble, upright. Upright. And I have no idea what my scroll does. Purple. I, I don't know. Okay, my low health and these fiery things are making me nervous. Health. That's not health. Ooh, shop. Yes. Please, 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 please. Ah, no food. Some good armor, though. And that's a ring of gold? Yep. I really need health. Okay, upright, 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 upright. Okay, where can I go? I don't even care about the... the diamonds. Actually, I think that's everything according to what's on the map. All the main rooms. Um, okay. Yeah, I need, like, secrets or something. And I do have a nice torch. But it doesn't matter. Okay, are we going... Is this the boss now? No, it's not. Oh, shit. Oh, no! Shit, I'm dead. Fuck, there's no way out of that. There was no way out of that. If I attacked left, I would have gotten hit by the horse dude, and if I attacked... Let's look at it. If I attacked left, I would have gotten hit by the horse dude, and if I attacked down, I would have gotten hit by the baby. Fuck, there's no way out of it. Oh. Yep. No way out of it, except the freeze spell that I never... <clears throat> spells. It's like they're useless. They don't even exist. This can't be a problem only I have, right? I'm pretty... Other people have a similar problem, right? I hope. I'm really hoping so. It's kind of a miracle I actually made it that far. Shittiest weapon ever.
Pokemon. For some reason, I thought it was two blocks behind me. Hmm, seems there's a present waiting for me inside of the shop. What the f- wow. That is like the worst combination of enemies. Not the direction I wanted to go. some okay stuff. Where have I not been? Uh, looks like I've been everywhere on the map, so let's look for secrets. Which, now that I can face through the wall, is no problem. <laughs> you can face through walls, but you still slide on ice. I think we're going down. Not quite. Now? Yes, there we go. Hmm, couldn't find any secrets. What? How much else did I have? That thing does two points of damage even when I have armor. The thing is either ridiculously powerful or leather armor is complete garbage. Wow. I'm not actually sure what happened there. Given the way it moves, should it have attacked there? Does it ha- No, that doesn't seem right. Does it have an attack if you're above it? Maybe you have to be below it? I'm not really sure what happened. I know if you're to the side of it, obviously you get hit by its freezing beam. If you're below it, that's good. That's usually how you attack it. Maybe from above is not the way to go?
Okay, long sword. Sweet. Gonna save up for that. I could not figure out how to hit that damn thing for some reason. Double attack range of the uh, sword, maybe hit instead of move. It's a whole bundle of trouble. just got it on the very last beat. Oh god. What the fuck? Uh... Did I kill myself? What the hell even happened there? I pressed the wrong key, and then I put down a bomb, and... What? Did I miss a beat? I think I missed a beat or something. Hmm. Oh, Jesus, come on. That actually didn't turn out too bad. Certainly could have been worse. Well, this is not good. Come <laughs> on. 
I, I don't even know what's happening. My brain just said, nope. I don't know what to do. Nope. No! Actually, hold on. Maybe. That's an awful lot of damage. That's too much da I'm sorry, that's too much damage to take early on. Yeah, I'm going down here. Oh shit, it actually broke through the damn wall. I didn't even know that was possible. I mean, I know you can do it with bombs, but... Come on. I'm just gonna wait here for you. I waited too long. Man, if you don't keep following the beat, like, if you just wait there... And give up your um, coin multiplier to wait for them to come to you. It totally messes me up. If I don't keep following the beat, I don't know where the beat is, and I end up reacting too slow or too fast or something. You really do have to keep doing something. You can't just wait. Not really. I mean, the coin multiplier is really not that important for this, because I never really seem to run out of coin for the most part. But keeping up the beat is important. Waited too long again. Okay, now we're in business. We have some armor, however shitty it is, and a freaking spear for the first time in like a bajillion years. I'm feeling good. Alright. Oh shit. I was looking at the map when I stepped on that. Uh, what did I just do? Shrine of War? What the hell does that do? I don't know what I just did. Probably something horrible, I'm guessing. And we're going down. Shrine of War. Okay, 
I'm not getting mobbed. All right. Let's get this little fucker. Heal spell. Excellent. I still don't know what this purple thing does. I feel like it takes me to the next level, but I'm not sure. Okay, um... There's a lot of stuff back there, which I can see thanks to the necklace thing I got. I don't even remember how I got that. Maybe it was from the Shrine of War. Alright, so let this stuff come to me. It's gonna be a little bit difficult. There we go. There we go. Okay. Let's unleash it. Okay. Excellent. Oh, there's a dragon. Fuck, there's a dragon. That's not good. Um, I'm gonna see if this spell will actually take me down. It does not. What the fuck is happening? I'm so he- oh, fuck. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's fine. Everything's fine. That was weird. I don't- I don't know what was happening. I got confused. Yes, yes, yes. Cheese. Cheese. Thank God. Okay. Okay, um, let's see. Let, ooh, do I want to do my weapon or my armor? Um, armor. Obsidian armor! Yes, okay, sweet. Get the beat, get the beat. I am going to go shopping. I have a ring of regeneration. I don't know what the ring of regeneration does. Torch don't really care. Uh, I'm good with my weapon. Okay, we got this. We fucking got this. And I think obsidian armor is dependent on your multiplier, so I'm going to stop talking. And keep my multiplier up. Especially, oh man, that's a busy room. That is a busy, busy room. I'm gonna wait for them to come to me. I could just wait the song out. not good. That was not good, but that wasn't horrible.
think I forgot to use my heal spell for a while there. Could really do the healing item. Okay, is this the boss? I think... Okay, holy shit, this is the first time I've ever gotten to the boss. I have... Pretty good armor, I think. My weapon is weak, but it has range, so I can deal. I don't have any freezing spells or anything like that, but, uh... Yeah, okay, I'm... Moderately well-equipped. This is the first time I've ever seen the boss. I have no idea what it's going to be like. Oh, shit, this is the, uh, the, like, conga line thing. Which is one of the bosses from the first zone that we just, uh, I saw when I was playing it, but I never actually saw it while I was recording. Let's get a feel for it. Stop. Three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. Okay, so there's a rest on the eighth beat. Okay. Uh, goblin fuckers are up there. Let's go. Oh my god, I did it! With half a heart! Oh, I forgot about my healing spell. Yes! Hell yeah! Boom! I'm just gonna dance around. You know, I've never actually watched a replay before. I don't know how that works. How, how does this work? Uh, press right or left to alter playback speed. Okay, let's... I'm gonna relive that boss fight. Okay, here we go. The uh, replay caught up to the boss fight. Speed it up a bit. Let's wait till it starts. Super fast, super fast, super fast. That was me considering life, I guess. Okay. And... I think I'm about to start. Getting the beat down. Man, I spent a lot of time out there. <laughs> okay, I think I'm about to go. Okay. I want to watch this again. And I can speed it down to super slow, by the way. Oh, yeah. Super slow-mo. So this is normal speed, I think. Yep. Alright, taking out the zombie conga line. Monkey comes over. Hit him once, he teleports back, right? Yep. Goes back to drumming on his throne. Actually, that's not a monkey, that's a gorilla, isn't it? Eh, what's the difference? Okay, here's where I make a big mistake. I'm gonna slow it down. I get totally cornered. 
Thank God my armor is uh, quite hardy, it seems, so I've got two hearts. I'm getting cornered by the elementals and everything. Then I think I take out this elemental here. Yep. And then I think I kind of just, like, mess up by going back and forth and not really doing much of anything, and then I get hit by the water elemental. Yeah, I just don't even move. I kind of panicked. And I'm worried about that uh, yeti thing down below. But then I think I take out the water elemental. Right now? Yeah. And then the yeti, right? No, I move. Then hit the gorilla, put him back in his place. <laughs> back in his place, that is, the throne. And then I think I just keep going for the gorilla, right? Yep. Now I'm at half a heart at this point. And yeah, my healing spell actually had recharged, I just forgot to use it because I wasn't even looking up there. I could not afford to divide my attention. Yep, there we go. <laughs> awesome. Alright. Um, how do I... Uh, quit to lobby? I think? Yeah, oh my god, I've got 24! Okay, yeah, zone 3 completed, that's the end of this alpha build. So yes, zone 4 has not been completed yet. And I don't believe anything new has shown up to buy. I wish something did, because I do have 24 freaking diamonds. Try hardcore mode for a greater challenge. Yeah, so that's the end of the zone content, and I suppose the shop equipment as well. But uh, there's still quite a few things left to do. Probably the main things left to do are the daily challenges and hardcore mode. So I believe what hardcore mode does... Yeah, lobby upgrades do not work here. Defeat all zones in a single run. Yeah, so you can't use any of the upgrades you bought. None of them. And it's timed. So there's that. And then the daily challenge is... Um, I think that's similar to like what Spelunky does, right? Where there's like a certain map that is generated each day. And that map is kept exactly the same for everyone who tries the daily challenge. So there is the daily challenge map for that day. And you can do it. And there's like a, uh, a leaderboard for it. Which I kind of want to do. Um, I think the leaderboard is based on coin score. Which I think simply means how many coins you have at the point that you die. Which actually means I think it's better to not buy stuff, because then you have more coins. Let's give, let's give it a try. Yeah, let's give the daily challenge a try. So I'm going to try to buy absolutely nothing and keep as many coins as I can, so my multiplier is absolutely key here. Alright, let's go. Yep, everyone gets the same dungeon. Store, uh, score equals coin total when run ends. Okay. Yes, they're dealing with old-school enemies here. <laughs> I already lost my multiplier. Everything's so slow. No point in getting the diamonds, I think. That costs coins. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. Come on.
Doing pretty good. Oh, wait. Oh, it doesn't give you diamonds, it gives you gold. Okay. That makes sense. Although, why would it still be a blue sparkle instead of, you know, gold sparkle? I have no idea. Okay. Doing pretty good. Took, took one hit. Something's coming. What is it? And where? Okay. Ooh, okay. We're good, we're good. Ooh, I want that apple so bad. No. Resist the apple. <laughs> Alright, where do I go? This way. You know what? I'm actually going to buy the apple. This sword, it's titanium. I'm gonna get it. Uh, 
Oh, we're to the first boss. Okay. This is the summoning one. Okay. All right, constant beat. This is the uh, the metal god. The god of metal. All right. We got this. Let's do this. You get to pick shit. <laughs> I would have picked a different one. All I got was a torch. Damn it. Okay. Oh, back to here. Crap. I don't even remember how to play this. Right, got the mimics. Or the copies, whatever you want to call them. I'm gonna wait for it to come. Wow, this thing can do a lot of damage. Yeah, apparently it does double damage from what someone said. It does do like double damage if you hit them on the tip. is actually going really well. down. We're going down. Coin multiplier lost. Huh. Scream, I don't see the enemy. Who's in the beat?
Okay, where else? I think that's it. Okay. That's the downfall of the rapier. Oh man. I know exactly what happened. The problem is if you attack someone when... I'm not sure if it's just when they're at your tip, that is, when they're two, uh, two blocks in front of you. I think it is. If they're two blocks in front of you and you do the move where you do double damage because of that, you also advance on them at the same time, so you move forwards and you attack. That's exactly what happened. I moved forwards and I attacked, and I got stomped on. That's the one downfall of the rapier. Sometimes you move when you don't want to. Yep. He was bracing for uh, movement, and then I move forwards at the same time as attacking. Hmm. That was a damn good run, though. I got over a thousand freaking gold. My god. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at the leaderboards. I'm sure there's going to be some fucking MLG players that got like a bajillion gold, but I'm hoping for um... I don't know. Top 200, maybe? Let's see. Uh... Whoa! I'm rank 85? Wait, what the fuck? Look at, look at that! No! Come on! Okay, somebody is exploiting. Look at that. I'm not even sure how many numbers are there, is that... That's gotta be over a billion, right? Hold on. Thousand, ten thousand, hundred thousand, million, ten million, hundred million. That's a billion. One billion, three hundred and sixteen million, one hundred and thirty-four thousand, nine hundred and eleven gold. No, I don't think so. But uh, everyone else seems to have a fair score. Some really, really good scores too. Three thousand, damn. Just looking over the names. Nintendork. <laughs> oh, wow, you can actually look at their replays. That's cool. You can actually watch their replays. I wonder what would happen if you watched this person's replay. The person who used an exploit or hacked or something. I don't really feel like watching it. But yeah, damn, number 85. I'm actually proud of that. How many people competed? Um, let's see. How'd you tell? I guess just keep going down the pages? Oh, it's gonna take forever to load. Yeah, I don't know how many people competed. But uh, nonetheless, I am proud of that. Number 85, and that was my first real attempt at a daily challenge. And now I know. Definitely go for the diamonds in the walls, because they're not actually diamonds, they're replaced by gold. Good to know. Okay, well, uh, I think I'm going to leave it there. I'll definitely be back for when zone number four unlocks. Aside from that, uh, I'm trying to think of whether I want to play hardcore or the daily challenges and how I would do that. I don't know. So I'm not sure if anything's going to happen with that, with hardcore mode or the daily challenges, but I am definitely going to be back for zone number four. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far, and I'll be back soon.